Okay, this is a quick demonstration of the ground pound mechanic with the new sounds. This is just a prototype to demonstrate what it seems like, what it's like in this state. So what I've got is a slight delay after pressing the space bar here, and then an impulse. And at the press, we play the sound, uh, demonstrating going from platform uh, shows how the sound be improved by having two two sounds play, one on impact and one as a looping that is cut off on impact. So for now, at a reasonable jump height, the, the sound lasts plenty long. Um, but a, any kind of a jump off of the platform is not guaranteed to, to fit. So let me go through and set up the other sound here. Keep in mind, these, these settings and the way it looks are all just a prototype kind of demonstration, so if, if it doesn't sound, or if it doesn't feel good right now, it's not a, a huge thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert the other sound here, but I'll stop real quick to talk about what's going on. Our handle jump is happening on the server and the client, which is not a factor right now because we don't have multiplayer. But if we can jump, then we add the impulse up. And we said that we can't jump. This is checked on a timer whenever we hit the ground um, or are on within a certain number of uh, units from the ground, we set jump to be active again. And it's a very small amount just to allow for error. But if it is false, we cannot jump. That means that we're in the air um, and we can set, uh, if the ground pound is not active, meaning we can only press this once while in the air, we can't spam it. Then we will press it, set it to active, play the sound, delay for that wind up, um, which I could hook into the length of this sound as we change it. And then we add that impulse. Um, it's not like uh, we want, there's there's like the wind up, there's the mid sound. So it'd be like starting jump, jumping, and um, like the peak of the jump, or in this case, starting falling, falling, and the landing. So this delay is for the, the uh, activating sound. The loop in the center would be the falling sound. And then the landing, which we can tie this into, uh, I guess we wouldn't have this through animations, but we can have three separate um, checks to know what we should be playing. When we hit the ground, we would play the, 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 the pounding sound. Here. And this delay means that I don't want to launch down until that wind up sound is finished. Um, so it's just a possible way to refine it. And I'll real quick head over to the can or the update here. This check jump uh, is an event that is called on a timer that I said at begin play. So at begin play every 10th of a second or something, check if we can jump. We do that line trace to the floor. If it's not within my units here, um, then I will change my uh, flags. So yes, I can, no, I can't. Yes, I am doing the ground pound, no, I'm not. When I hit the ground, I know I'm done with the ground pound, so I set it active to false, meaning that it's inactive. Um, the reason I don't say, like, set it to inactive and set it to active is that this is a, a true false. You want it to default to preferring the active state, meaning, like, um, I want to know if I can use the ground pound, not if I can't. And you consider both sides depending on um, the situation, but you want the default case when you're using this thing to be positive. Uh, that's probably more than I need to go into and a little confusing, but up here, just with any Boolean, I'm saying, uh, is the ground pad active? No, then I'm gonna set it active, go for it. And uh, to demonstrate the other sound now, that was ground pound two, this is ground pound one, I'll just jump back in and you can hear the wind up. I do prefer two a little bit better, but um, hearing this one, it feels more like, almost like a steampunk kind of thing, like a gear. And I thought that might be cool if we have um, some like premium kinds of skins. We have like a metal one and uh, like a, a cloth one and a skulls one, coins and scales. So if we have something kind of premium, maybe we even have this as a, a monetization option, then we could include custom sound effects for the skins. Uh, I know uh, Chino is working on custom uh, Niagara uh, effects like this. Uh, ball trail will have possibly uh, a trail that reacts to the type of skin. So we could have a sound effect. Um, but for now, 
for now, you can see here that wind up, the mid sound, and then the concluding sound could be three separate files, and one of them would we would want to be um, loopable. So the, the falling sound, I would like to be able to stretch, like let's go from the high distance here, as long as I want that, and then right when I hit the ground there, on impact, I would, uh, on impact with any substance, I jump to the ball and say, find out if a ball hit that substance, because we could have um, a projectile landing, we'd have um, mobility things interacting with the floor and stuff, but we want to say, something hit the floor. Was it a ball? If it's a ball, was it doing the ground pound? And if all that stuff checks out, I want to play that sound there. So uh, ideally you want to keep this kind of logic within the ball itself, because the ball is making noise, right? Um, but that's, that's kind of the, the way to tidy things up in, in terms of designing this. But that might be a, a case where we shift that over to the floor because they, uh, they interact there. So either one could um, be responsible for that sound. And, and again, the floor being responsible for it can have some value in the same way that the rolling sound can have value. Like if I impact wood or if I impact a, a bounce floor or a sticky floor or metal or the destructive floor, I might want a different pound sound. Um, it's uh, more elaborate than we need up front, but definitely can be something that we work on soon, um, depending on the velocity and the of, of our tasks with sound effects and the number of people we have to be able to be working on them. So that's, that's um, didn't make it very quick after all. But that's my demonstration of this, and I'd like some feedback from anyone who is interested. And um, from Doe, if you want to get with me on your reactions, that would be cool. Thanks.